You scientific types are so easily ruffled. And you military types are so predictable. You rely on cunning, intrigue. I prefer the direct approach. Hi, I'm Mandy from Deadly Dames Horror Extravaganza. Today I'm here with Jane Badler I'm discussing 2047 Virtual Revolution on behalf of Geek Legion of Doom. Can you tell me a bit about how you got involved in this movie? Well, I um, got Guy, uh, Guy Roger, the director, contacted me on, I think it was either Twitter or uh, Twitter or Facebook. I can't remember which one it was, but it was definitely on social media, which uh, it seems to be interesting that a lot of the um a lot of the uh jobs that i get now seem to seem to happen that way um you know it's like funny how often people just reach out to you directly um because they uh you know they, they feel like well the budget's not huge and they don't want to kind of go through the agent so he contacted me and um i kind of knew about him he's actually quite a, a well-known um he's a well-known um composer yeah he's a well-known composer and um he, um, you know, I, I'd heard about him. He sent me the script, and it was uh, so interesting, so intriguing, and I just thought, I have to do this. And uh, and it was fantastic. We kind of worked on the role together over the phone. We did a lot of Skyping. And then uh, before I knew it, I was in Paris. So that's kind of how it came about. I think, is that what attracted you to the role, just how different it was? I just loved the script. I thought it was such an interesting concept. It was so creative, and I'd sort of Googled him, found out a bit about him. I watched his short film that was, uh, you know, when, when he told me what he did with the budget of that short film, it was absolutely amazing. It won lots of awards. Um, you know, he's just such a creative individual, and uh, his visuals are remarkable. And so I think just the combination of all of it was very enticing to me. And what did you enjoy most about working on the movie? Uh, I think going to Paris, it was very exotic, you know, and it was an international cast. It was, you know, people that were French, people that were American. Um, I think he had other nationalities. So I just really enjoyed that. I enjoy the excitement of going to a foreign country, and Paris is one of my favorite places. Um, so uh, I also love doing sci-fi. And uh, we worked in the most extraordinary locations. Uh, and uh, there was just so much pros to, to wanting to be involved in this project. We'd actually spoke to Guy earlier to, this evening and he'd said a lot of the effects in that movie, they were actually, they were done practical and we were we were pretty amazed by that. We didn't realise that we, they'd actually done them on set. We thought a lot of them were blue screen and were really blown away by that. Yeah, he's like incredible. I mean, I even knew when I was shooting it, you know, when I wa saw the lighting and saw the way he was shooting it, it was just, it looked like it was something being done in post because his lighting was so incredible. Yeah, I think he's just, um, I think he used a, a, you know, a lot of different lighting effects and amazing locations. Um, I can imagine um, your character in the story um, has quite an interesting backstory. And if you were approached to do a pre-sequel or a sequel to this movie, um, would that be something that you'd be interested in exploring further? Oh, absolutely. I, I would love to, you know, because the way that, you know, that my character was, you know, in this particular movie was, you know, that she just really, you didn't see her backstory. You just saw her in her job. So I would love to have the opportunity to see her in, you know, different aspects of her life so that you could get a more rounded idea of who this person is. It would be wonderful. I hope that it happens for, for him and uh, hopefully it will. It won lots of awards, this film. So hopefully we're back on the set again. I know, I think, she's, I think there's a lot of secrets to this character, and I'd like to know what they are. Yes, well, how did you know that? I think there are a lot of secrets to this character. She keeps her private life very, very hidden. I mean, the truth is, this character was never married. Uh, she never had any children. And um, I think she has, you know, for me, I decided that she has quite a, you know, high sexual appetite. So uh, one of those secrets would be that... Um, you know, that she uh, maybe engages in uh, some interesting uh, relationships 
that uh, hopefully will be explored <laughs> in the next film. <laughs> well, I know from speaking to Guy, obviously he's um, hoping to do a few more films, so hopefully you'll get to see a bit more of this character. Um, yeah, I hope so. He's so talented, and uh, I'm sure he will be doing more films, you know? Yeah, and he also, I think he was, uh, you know, I don't he might have spoken to you about it, he also is trying to get a, uh, a TV series off the ground yeah. as well, based on, on this show, so... Um, you know, there's lots of, of great things ahead for him. And we're looking forward to hopefully seeing a bit more of these secrets coming out from your character. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I didn't even tell you all of the secrets. We'll have to wait for that. Um, you're obviously very well known for playing the character of Diana in the TV series V as well. Yes. And um, did you know at the time of making the TV series V that it was going to be such a success and it would have such a massive fan following that's lasted to today as well oh god no i you never i mean that's not something you ever think about i mean to me it was just another job and it was a great job it was my first mini series um and uh and i loved the character i thought it was just such a fun project and it was the first time that i was on a studio lot like warner brothers with huge special effects and huge spaceships i mean it was just such a exciting thing but i never in my wildest dreams anticipated the success of it nor that 30 years later uh people would still be kind of contacting me to do things because of that particular um job so i mean it's pretty crazy it's been an insane an insane opportunity for me there's um also a rumor going around that v may be making its way to the big screen um have you heard much about that rumor yeah, I've, I've been in touch with Kenneth Johnson, and uh, yeah, absolutely, he's got a, a big studio uh, behind him, and uh, I think his idea is to uh, just redo the original miniseries with, uh, you know, a new cast, uh, which I think would be absolutely extraordinary and would be so fantastic on film, and I think he's really close to that happening. It's a, it's a very, very huge budget film, and uh, and hopefully that'll happen, and hopefully I'll have a cameo in it. So, um, you know, we're all really excited about that. Uh, you could see my big smile there when you said that, because uh, I'm a big fan of the original, oh, the original V. Yeah, I think, <laughs> so. Wouldn't it be something? I know, it'd just be incredible with today's special effects to see that being done now. You I know? Um, would love to see that. Me too. Um, do you <laughs> have any souvenirs from V or any mementos that you took from the original TV? Yes, I do, actually. I've got like, um, I've got like uh, a, a Diana doll. Uh, where the face comes off and there's lizard underneath and then i've got like a teddy bear with um with the, the v costume and um what else have i got i think i've got the original uh cards you know the trading cards and i've got all the original comic books so i've got some fantastic souvenirs from that time now we do have a couple of questions here which have come from our facebook page as well so from daniel Jansen, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his surname correctly, um, he would like to know if there's been any female actors which have influenced your career choices over the years. Um, let me think about that. Yes, I mean, I think that, um, no, you know, I don't know if there's been female actors that have influenced my choices because my choices are very much based on whether I think a script is interesting or not. So, Probably not, but I certainly think that I'm very inspired by people's careers. Uh, you know, someone like Julianne Moore, um, I find incredibly inspiring because of her very courageous choices. And uh, she picks films that are, you know, maybe not mainstream, but are based on incredible creative opportunities for her. So um, there are definitely icons that I, I look at, but I always just look at a script and if a script excites me, and uh, the director excites me, I, uh, I pretty much say yes. And I've got another one here from, again, from our Facebook page. Um, Graham McCall would say, um, like to ask if you're aware how much your character Diana scared the generation of children. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I actually never really thought about it, except that now when people reach out to me, they always say that. That's sort of the first things they say is, do you know how much your character scared the, sh the sh excuse me, the S-H-I-T <laughs> out of me? And then I always go, really? Like, I've, everyone says it, everyone. So then I go, well, I must have scared people because everyone's saying it. 
<laughs> there was another question came through, uh, came through, but there wasn't a name attached to it. Basically, saying, um, "Have you ever been able to look at hamsters the same since playing Diana on V?" <laughs> Never. As a matter of fact, my son wanted a hamster, and I said, "Oh no, that hamster won't be safe in our house." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's like weird. I've never been able to have a hamster around. So I guess it did affect me having to touch that squeamish hamster and then eat it. So, yeah, definitely. Now, um, I also know that you um, have made a few um, musical albums over the years as well. Can you tell us much about your music career? Yeah, it's been really, really fun. I've, um, you know, I've been really fortunate. I've done three albums and they've all been very different. And, uh, you know, it's, called, it's given me an opportunity to perform and to work with some amazing producers. Um, and, you know, now I'm working on a disco album with uh, a Melbourne producer called Parallax, uh, which is also very exciting. And that'll be out probably the end of the year with uh, a record label in the UK. So it's just super creative, super fun. I get to wear crazy costumes and do amazing videos with fabulous directors. So it's just been a fantastic uh you know, creative enterprise for me. And um, our, our last question for you, um, what other projects have you got lined up? You want to tell us what else you've got? Yeah, well, I'm, uh, you know, currently, um, you know, like I said, working on this music to release this year. And uh, I've got a film that I produced called Daisy Winters with uh, Brooke Shields and Ian Rian from Game of Thrones. And that's about to be released October the 9th. Uh, on DVD and online, and uh, and hopefully uh, within the year internationally as well. So that's taking up a lot of my energy, and uh, and also a few other little projects I'm I'm looking at producing. Um, and yeah, I've just signed with some management in the, in New York, so I'm looking to spend a bit of time in New York and uh, hopefully hopefully work again in the states. Perfect. Well, it's been yeah. Absolute- Sure, um, chatting to you, and um, thank you for your time. Um, thank you, I love you. Really I love your enjoyed accent. Enjoyed chatting to you. I'm um, Scottish. <laughs> oh, so, so beautiful. Uh, it's a beautiful accent. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, take care. Thank you. You too. Bye. Thank you.